Publishing forms built with Web Form Builder to S Drive is the easiest way to get your forms on the web. You don't have to write any HTML code or deal with confusing FTP settings. I'm going to demonstrate how to publish to S Drive and give you a tour of the S Drive dashboard controls and form statistics. Once you have created a form and are ready to upload, click on the Settings toolbar icon in Web Form Builder and log into your Coffee Cup account under the Form Publishing tab. Once it connects, you'll be able to choose which domain you'd like to upload the project to. With the upload settings configured, close the window and hit the Publish toolbar icon to send your form to the Coffee Cup servers. After it completes, the app will display a pop-up window with a link to the live form, as well as an embed code for inserting the form into a web page. If you click the form link, you can view the form online or even share the link with other people. It is a great way to test your form and share it with colleagues before embedding it into your website. To view the form submissions and statistics, go to the Coffee Cup website. Under Services, click the Web Forms option to go directly to the Forms dashboard. This is the command center for all your forms. You'll be presented with an overview of your published forms for you to manage. In the top right, you can use the domain dropdown to bounce between the different domain names you have on your account. S-Drive's user statistics give you greater insight on how your audience is in interacting with your forms. View the metrics for the number of visits the form receives, how many people started to fill out the form, and view how many people proceeded with submitting the form successfully. Click on the gear icon to preview the form online, see the form results, or delete the form from your dashboard. You can also click on the form name to open the form results list. The entries will be listed individually, displaying a preview of the submissions. Review the statistics by clicking the graph icon the detailed statistics will pop up. Click on Customize Fields to edit which six form fields you would like displayed on the dashboard overview. Click the checkboxes to select and deselect your options. Under the Submitted On field, clicking the date of the submission will open that entry so that you can review all the form entries. The full record will be available to review along with the submitter's IP address. If your form included an upload file element where the submitter would attach a file, the attachment can be accessed by clicking on the down arrow next to the file name. This allows you to save that file to your computer. Clicking Back to Summary and Form List will take you back to the form overview. You can manage the submissions by clicking on the little box next to the Submitted On Entries. Use the drop-down box at the bottom to mark the selected fields as red, star it as important, delete fields, or download the entries to your computer. Lastly, use the Share button to view your form online or to share it on Facebook or Twitter. Now that you know how to create, publish, and get the results of your form, Time to go have fun.